So if you were to put the key in and you do a five, four, three, two, one. Model Rocks 321 here, back with another video. And today we are going to talk about sport models. Some of you may be disappointed in some of the rockets that I like as far as sport models. Um, there are many out there. Sport models are just your common rocket. They got a title. Some can be somewhat exotic. I mean, you can do all kinds of things with sport models. Many, many people have taken the Red Max and turned that into different types of Maxes. If you know the Goonies, those have been turned into all kinds of Goonies and different things. They're just fun rockets. They're not, like I said, they're not scale. They're not based on anything real, but they're just a rocket. Cool rocket. As for example, this right here is a cool little rocket that I do like. It's the Pipsqueak. It's the Quest Pipsqueak. Little three fins and a nose cone, streamer recovery, 18 millimeter engine though. This rocket will get you some serious altitude, that streamer pop out and then you'll be happy because then you'll see it because it goes out of sight pretty easy. Great little rocket, fun little rocket. This is an example of a sport model. All these are sport. Let's start with the classic, classic sport model, the Alpha. Classic, classic rocket. Many people have built these. This is an old, old design, been flying for years. They still make this and still sell this Estes. Um, many people, I think, lose these too. It's a very tricky rocket. Lightweight, but if you put a C engine in there and you underestimate it as a newbie and it goes out of sight and that parachute comes out and you have trees around or you don't have a big enough area, you will lose it. You will lose this rocket as a newbie. But if you use a you know an A engine, a B engine, you'll get it back and you'll live to see it fly another day. Or this will live to fly another day. But the Alpha is just a cool, cool sport kit to get you started. Um, so that's two. And the other Alpha, this is one I recently did, which I'm loving this so much. This is like kind of like my new favorite rocket right now. The Alpha one is the first one. It's really an Alpha three. These are the plastic fins. I just painted it with the scheme of the Alpha one. But just so cool, so retro. Old school, I just love it. I'm gonna fly this pretty soon coming up. I'm gonna fly this real soon. Sport model. Next up, let's get to this one. Classic, classic sport model. Entry level, the Big Bertha. I did my own scheme with this. This is a very old Big Bertha. Um, did my own paint scheme with it. I just cut some of the decals. If you remember the black version that came out, I just did my own thing with it. Gave it sort of a retro look with the color scheme and then just use the decals the way I did. But the Big Bertha is another example of a classic, classic sport model. Cool rocket, like I said. Slow liftoffs, real cool. Nice rocket. Now let's get to, here's a sport model. Um, these aren't, like I said, these aren't necessarily my top, but they're, some of these are, we're going to get to them, um, super great. Some of them are <laughs> great, great, and I love them a lot. But look at the Drifter. Sport model competition rocket. This is for um, parachute duration or streamer duration. You can do all that with this rocket. Great design, little boat tail design. Classic, classic rocket, the Astron Drifter. This is a clone. The originals, I think, can go for you know, a decent amount of money, but classic Estes. Look at that fin design, little wedge shape. You know, designed to build really light. You build these light. I think it came with two parachutes, the original one for competition stuff. And um, yeah, so this is the Drifter. Another example of a sport model. Let's start with the Da Vinci. Now this is my own custom creation. This rocket is based around the Big Betty. The Big Betty is similar to the Big Bertha. The Big Bertha was out first by Estes. The Big Betty came along by Quest. So I took the Quest Big Betty and turned it into the Da Vinci rocket. I just took a lot of Leonardo Da Vinci's designs and wordings and some of his mirror reflected writings. And I did my own thing with it. Look at that water slide. This is one big water slide. The Da Vinci. This is like sport model, just for fun, something to look at, real nice. I've flown this a few times years ago on the East Coast. I haven't flown it out here in Arizona yet. Haven't gotten one flight in Arizona yet, but the Da Vinci, sport model. Let's move on to the great, and I'm going to say the great Astron Omega. This is a clone. I think I, I scratch built, yeah, I scratch built this one. I think I grabbed the cone, it's a plastic cone payload section here. There's a balsa bulkhead, I believe. Yeah. This is a clone, it's not an original. Two-stage, super classic rocket, pop and go. You can check back in the videos, you'll see a flight of this, the Omega. Classic, classic, great rocket. This one got some dings and dents from being flown and recovering. Super stable, you cannot go wrong with this rocket. Um, I fly it with onboard video, you can see where I attached the camera right here, Velcro, industrial strength Velcro. 
super straight, super stable. That staging just goes perfect every time. It's a great, great design. But I think Mike Dorfler, I think his name was, yeah, SD's the guy who designed this rocket. If I think he passed away, so rest in peace to Mike Dorfler, one of the great legendary rocketeer designers. Let me move back so you can see the whole thing. But the Astron Omega Sport model, one of the greats. There's a similar SD's kit out called the Reflex or the something. It's similar to this, but the Marauder, as you can see it says right there, is the original. It's where they got that design from. Love it. Payload section, but I glued it shut because I'm not going to fly anything in there. Nice rocket. These fins like to get broke though. They're kind of sticking out. So you got to have, they say 18, 12 inch parachute. This really needs an 18 or 24 inch parachute for something softer, for a softer landing rather. But the Marauder, great, great sport rocket. Drake Demero, I believe that's his name, design. This rocket right here. Look at those wings, look at those fins, the top dorsal fins. Look at that, the holes. These are openings, like, <laughs> look at that. Like, this is great, this is great. This is an example of a sport model. It could be converted into a starship for an exotic ship too. I just did all this detailing and I did all this, these labels and decals, just to give it its own look. I went with the light blue and the little red accents here. Underneath the fins, I did silver here, but this is white. Top dorsal fin is silver, 24 millimeter. You tape in fit or friction fit. I usually put the motor in and I'll put tape around that bare part to hold it in. Great rocket. This could be a payload section, but it's not. No, it's not a payload section. There's a tube, everything pops out from here. So, parachute goes in this compartment. Another great, great sport rocket. Great example of a sport model. Got this little holder here to keep it standing up. I fashioned this myself. And last, but not least, and I'm gonna have an honorable mention also, the far side, the greatest. This is probably like my favorite sport model I have right now. Though I love the Omega, but this far side is all greatness. <laughs> Payload section, three fins, three sets of fins rather, Three stage, one of the greats, one of the great rockets. Pop and go all the way, super stable. I have not flown this one, and this is one of the rockets that I will not fly. I flew the, the Saturn V and some other stuff before I fly this. For some reason, this one is telling, it's just like, I just want to keep it, like, keep it as nice as possible. And that's not normally my way. Normally, I fly everything. I don't care if I put a thousand hours into it, I'll go fly it. I'm not. I get this talk. It's in some of the comments. Some guy, I don't want to put all this work into it and fly it and crash, whatever. That's part of the game. You rocketry. Even NASA, they fly stuff and that stuff goes wrong sometimes. I mean, at SpaceX, it stuff goes wrong. It always did. The Russians, everybody, everything can go wrong with this stuff, but I'm going to fly it. Not this one, though. This is the one rocket that I'm not flying. I'm going to keep this one looking pretty for as long as I can. If I ever get the urge to fly it, I will. If I ever get the urge to fly, I will. So we're talking about sport models. Please, down below, drop your favorite sport models. I know I'm missing some. I don't have them all. I got kits. I got kits around me, and I have all kinds. I can dig out and pull some stuff. But drop some down below that I may be missing that's like a great. Um, I just want to see what else is out there. I'm familiar with them, but I just don't have them all here. And last but not least, as a great sport model in the package, rainbow tag, the X-Ray. Classic, classic sport model. I love the way it look. Great kit. Great kit. I had this in an upscale. I sold it off years ago. I wonder where it's at. If you have an upscaled x-ray that you bought off eBay years ago, let me know that it's mine. <laughs> I want it back. But anyway, all balsa, balsa nose cone, balsa uh, transition, balsa fins, everything intact. Great, great rocket, the x-ray. One of the great sport rockets. So this is my sport rocket video. At the end of this video, be sure to check out my top scale models. And next up, or coming soon, I will do my top exotic models that I have. And when they're in packages, I'm gonna pull some stuff out and we're gonna take a look at them. But this right here, some of the great sport models that I have. So this has been my sport models video guy. Hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. We'll be back with more. Check this video right here.